So today is seed starting day and we just got this lovely shipment from Baker Creek which is perfect timing because we was wanting to do some artichokes and today would be the day we would want to plant them. So we're going to do these today, these today, and these kales we're going to do today. Them kales are huge. We're going to probably try to eat some of these but most of this here is just going to be chicken feed for this. The artichokes we love those so we're going to do them again. We did them last year. This orange red, or this orange thyme, I don't know, we're probably going to plant it somewhere and it'll blow that it'll be chicken feed, but we're going to dehydrate some of it and probably start selling some dehydrated thyme. Um, we also got these two free packages, bok choy and a wasabi radish. This here is a... Uh, Giant melon. I'm, I'm assuming it's like a winter squash, but I don't know that. We just seen it, how big it was, and thought it was neat to try. Then some flowers. We're going to use these as like a cover crop for just bees and whatnot. Leaf of gourds. We started making soap and selling it on our storefront, and I will put a link to our online store below. So this fall, we should be able to have uh, soap injected loofahs. And then we got clover and some buckwheat and some white buckwheat and these here we're just going to plant these down in the field below <clears throat> in the spring in june ish we'll plant these three and that'll be uh basically we'll run our chickens through there once they come into flower once they flower we'll put the chickens on that spot and then once they eat the flowers down we'll move them we'll keep rotating them that way so um I'm going to go out in the greenhouse. We've got a bunch of seeds down there we're going to start. And I'm going to take these three packs down there and we're going to start seeds. And... All right, it's time to start planting some seeds, finally. Um, pretty busy morning this morning so far. Yeah. Planting seeds is simple. Starting seeds is simple. It's don't ever think it, just do it. For anybody that wants to start a garden, it's this, this is how simple it is. I'm planting more than enough for a garden right here, but it's the same principles. A lot of people tell you about your soil needs to be a special seed starting mix and it's got to be so fine and this, that, and the other thing. That, that really don't make any difference. Nature don't sift its seeds out, sift its soil out and seeds start in nature all the time, right? You just got to pack it fairly good. I like to do this. And I've done this a fair bit. It, my wife can't get her fingers coordinated enough to do it that way. But to me, it's pretty simple. I'll pack it in once. And this is just regular old potting mix, pro mix. We buy a pro mix in the bulk. We buy super sacks full of it. In the fall, we bought three, three super sacks full. Um, and we'll probably use all three of them. And I'll pack it one more time. I'll level it back off and I'll set it out to the side and this is almost ready for seed store and we'll do this two more times for what I'm doing right now and I got I'll have another one I'm not sure how big the next one will be I don't think it'll be quite this size these are 128 cells one of them's for tomatoes one of them's for beefsteak tomatoes one of them's for cherry tomatoes they'll be put into four packs which will give us um, four flats, and by flats I mean the uh, regular size trays you see at your local nursery, the 11 by, well, I'm not sure, 18 by 11 or whatever they are. Um, see, big sticks like this you don't want in there, but other than that it really don't make any difference. They'll make four flats of each tomato, and those tomatoes there will actually go to the auction. I'm not sure the date they go to the auction, but that's where they'll end up going, is to the auction. Um, so right now, from here on, until 1st of June, we'll be planting seeds every every week from now to, now to June. 
that's our seed starting area in the house that I've shown you in past videos. <clears throat> it's going to be starting to fill up. There's stuff in there now I could bring out. To, there's some marigolds and some peppers that could come outside. And I probably will bring them out later today. And that mare's a little bit low, so I'll put a little bit, a little dab in some of those holes. And that's going to be it for that one. So those two there will take the tomatoes. And then this one here will do the marigolds. The marigolds, we start one of these every week for like five or six weeks. Start some artichokes and some kales. And there was something else I was going to start today, too. I can't remember what the other one was. But and they'll be, the artichokes and kales will be for us. We'll put in our garden. We may sell some artichokes this year, though. I'm not sure. But those kales, we won't. We, might, we may sell. We may sell some of the greens from the kales at the farmer's market or even here. Actually, you can check out our online store we just opened up yesterday, um, which would be, I'm not sure the date. Today's Saturday. Um, I'll put the date across the screen right here. Um, we already actually made a couple sales on it, which is great. Thank you all. Appreciate that. Um, so you can check us out there. We've got stuff we're going to ship some things. Some things is farm pickup only. And this summer, once the farmer's market opens, we'll be doing a pickup at the farmer's market. So you're more or less going to do, be similar to a CSA, but not exactly. It'll be, order it and you get it as you go <clears throat> pick up at this point in time the pickups are only in Fridays at the farm um, and if you order if you order it we'll ship it out as soon as we, as soon as we get packaged up we just packed it up and ordered a little bit ago it'll ship out Monday um, so we have we have soap and we have some lip balm and we have we have uh, corn meal we have garlic, um, we have eggs too, but they're pick up anyway. What I'll do is I'll just push all these down one more time. back out so there's nothing sticking above the you don't want nothing sticking above the flat when you're doing this <clears throat> these here will be tomatoes I'm not sure what kind of tomatoes I'll be Whichever one's on top of the thing. Um, so these will be a beefsteak right here. They are beefsteak tomatoes. These are actually last year's tomatoes, but hopefully there's 128 seeds left in this pack. If not, I have a new pack over there. I can grab. Oh yeah, I got plenty of seeds. Actually, I need to change my glasses. Seeds are kind of small. I have a hard time seeing them anymore. We all get old, I guess. I'm just going to put one seed per cell. These, these seeds are still young enough, fresh enough, that I shouldn't need more than that in here. If I drop an extra one in one, it ain't, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we started our online store, as I said a little bit ago. Um, Hopefully we do good with it, but who knows? I mean, honestly, <clears throat> we want to have more. We want to have more farm pickup. 
we want to have less less farmers market Saturdays to get our Saturdays back through the summer months we've the last couple years we've been at the farmers market every Saturday one or one or both every Saturday um, and it'd be nice to get your Saturday back you know I don't need to I don't need to go every or be home every Saturday but it'd be nice to get some more work done around here but to grow the business not not be stuck in a rut you know farmers market Saturday and you can't grow the business any <clears throat> then you got you know farm like I say farmers market on Saturday and Sunday you try to rest a little bit but you can't you gotta get everything else done you gotta harvest on Fridays and I work full time most Fridays I don't even get home till four between four and five o'clock in the evening and the wife's worked her butt off all day trying to get things done um that's going to change sometime here soon too I'm trying to figure out a way a way to get me out of working my regular job full time um, I think in a year or so hopefully th after this year hopefully after this year will be if I have to work it'll be a part time job not a full time job I don't necessarily need a full-time job right now we uh financially we're okay the farm don't make enough money for us to live on it keeps itself going but it is starting to grow i mean it bought the greenhouse it bought the property across the street you know it, it does okay it's definitely not a gold mine um, but if I put the energy in it as I do at my town job, so to speak, as Joel Southam calls it, <clears throat> it's hard to tell what we could end up with. So I guess my goal is in a year from now to work part time someplace or even where I'm at now part time. I don't have an issue working here. I enjoy my job most times. It's pretty stressful, which is one reason this, this, job here started was to take some stress off and just kept growing and growing and growing and growing and now it's starting to become soon stress but it's a different kind of stress this is a labor of love not a labor of necessity so that's part of our plan anyway I mean, I'm not going to let all of it out of the bag but that's where we kind of are <clears throat> Yeah, we're pretty much debt free. We're debt free enough that it don't matter. Our house is paid for. All of our property is paid for. The only bills we have is car and just electric and basic necessities. We don't have cable. All we have is internet. We don't have cable TV or anything like that. So, you know. Anyways, I was yapping my gums too much. Sorry, I digressed some. But that's where this is. That these are like I say these are beefsteak tomatoes, and once you put put those down, then I always and you don't have to. You don't have to um, use vermiculite. I do. I use vermiculite on my seeds, mainly mainly because it holds moisture in. <clears throat> And it uh, keeps bugs out of it. Not that we have bug issues, but we have had bug issues in the past. We buy some starts from certain greenhouses, and I'm not going to give their names away. We got a load yesterday, actually, from one greenhouse that we buy from, which we didn't get all of our stuff, so hopefully Mother's Day will still be all right. Our flowers, we normally don't start flowers. We usually buy them because they're they take so long to get going from seed. Um, so we buy them. But a lot of times when you do that, you get bugs like this fungus gnats. It's nothing. You don't get a bad bug at all. This fungus gnats. They won't penetrate this for mixing. Up. So then this right here is our beef steaks. Once they start sprouting and grow a little bit, we'll be popping them out and putting them in four packs 
cells, like I said earlier. Um, next thing you gotta do is water them, and I'll show you how I water them shortly. All right, I got all the seeds put in, and at the end of it, my lovely assistant came out and uh, made <laughs> tags because she didn't like how I made them up. I put BAK for the kale, and she thought it was bok choy. I said, that's not what that says. That BAK stands for big ass kale, and she didn't like that, so <laughs> she rewrote all the tags. <laughs> But anyways, that's so, such as life. So we have 84 kales. These, these you watch me sow these ones here. This the beefsteak tomatoes, sweet 100s. These are marigolds. We've started the last four weeks, three weeks, whatever. This is the orange thyme, and then this is the artichokes. And I put these in the same, the same tray because they take about the same amount of time to germinate. They're like three to four weeks to germinate, so both of those are, so. Now we just gotta water it. When you water it, as you've seen before, to the artichokes, we probably will sell some of those plants. We only wanted 27 and I'll put in 42. So. I got a bad problem with that. They always do more than I'm supposed to. Once you get it, once you get the vermiculite water wet, where you know it ain't gonna go nowhere, then you can really give them a good soak. I do believe it's time for me to change my filter on the water. Um, so anyways, that's going to do this. So like I said earlier, we got an online store and I'll put a link to it below. Um, please share with your friends and family. Like and subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again, take care and God bless.